Hi, welcome back to In The Kitchen With Pen and today I'm going to be making an all-in-one <laughs> Spanish chicken dish and it is really really tasty and incredibly simple <coughs> excuse me please what I'm doing today though is I'm going to be making it in my trusty speedy for the first time so you're going to see it warts and all I'm going to cough again <coughs> right so all in one Spanish chicken what do I need well obviously I need some chicken and this recipe is just for the two of us so I have four chicken thighs which I will season with salt pepper <coughs> and garlic powder I will also need some rice and there's my rice and I've got 100 grams of rice there and I've got it in my special rice washing bowl that I bought from Timu I'll need some frozen peas <coughs> I'm so sorry about this cough <coughs> I'll need some bacon and I've got three chopped rushes of bacon oops in there I'll also need a chopped onion a chopped red pepper some halved cherry tomatoes um, I'm cheating I'm using garlic puree some sweet paprika really going to emphasize the sweet paprika and some vegetable stock which is there so I'm gonna <coughs> have a drink <coughs> season my chicken and then we'll bring you across speedy is on sear saute and it's only been on 45 seconds but I'm going to add in just a little bit of avocado oil if you don't have avocado oil use a an olive oil or any um, oil that you have I wouldn't advise using a virgin olive oil at all because that's too good to cook with to be quite honest with you so I'm going to let that oil heat and then I'm going to add in my um, chicken thighs which I have I hope you can see let's pop this light on too seasoned with salt pepper and garlic powder Our oil has been on for almost three minutes so I'm going to go in with our chicken and we're going breast side down, breast side, skin side down to start and what we're going to do is we're only going to fry this until we get some colour because that's what we're after is just some colour on this, these chicken thighs. Don't play about with them, let them sit. If you play about with them, you're going to lose the skin because it will just pull off. So let it heat, let it actually start to cook and then move them. Right, I'm, I've turned a couple and as you can see, they haven't stuck. And obviously, chicken skin will release more oil. So we're just going to do the same with this side. Well, our chicken has had about five minutes, so I'm going to take it out and I'm putting it onto a plate to rest. Now, this chicken is not cooked. I'm not pretending it's cooked. I'm not telling you it's cooked because it's not, but it's had a seal. So now I need to go in with the bacon. And again, this is a dry cure bacon, so again, this will release some oil. And now I need to come in with the onions too. And what I'm doing here is I'm just going to 
let them cook until my onions start to soften up and my bacon starts to go a little crispy and I've turned the um, speedy down to number four. Now the reason I'm not shoving this all in at once is because I'm building on the flavours. If you caramelise or brown things they have more flavour than if you just shove it all straight in. I've rinsed my rice ready so uh, we're just going to let this cook until I'm happy with how it looks. My onions have started to soften and my bacon to crisp. This might answer your question. Computer Try stop. Your... So I'm going to go in with two teaspoons or a teaspoon and a half of the sweet paprika and this would be three minced cloves of garlic. One, two, three. And then all I need to do is to stir. And once I can really smell the garlic, I can add in other ingredients. can smell the garlic now so we're going to go in with the pepper and the tomatoes I know it doesn't look many tomatoes but trust me when I tell you that is enough for two people And I've just got to cook these until they start to soften. But what I am going to do is I'm just going to add in a little bit of stock. And I've added some parsley, some thyme, some rosemary to my stock just to add more flavouring. And I added the stock because it was starting to stick. There you go, look, you can see it's all coming off the bottom now. That's all flavour. in all the remaining stock now and now it's time for the rice that through so that the rice is all in the stock and get some of all those beautiful flavours. I'm going to bring, turn that up and bring it to a bubble. This smells really nice, the paprika and the garlic just delicious. Okay. Let that come to a little boil. And leave it alone. Leave it alone. Stop fiddling it with, with it, Penny. And once it's boiling away, we'll come back. 
Well, we're starting to bubble up a bit now, so I'm going to pop the chicken back on top. Just sit it on top. Add in those juices. And now I'm going to close, switch off, close the lid, switch it up to the air fry hob, the rapid cooking, sorry, I apologise. And we're going to go for steam bake and we'll go at 185 and we'll go for there you go, I've just changed it we'll go for 16 minutes press start that's it I can now walk away clear up and if you don't have a speedy you'd be popping this in your oven right now and you too will be walking away so we'll be back when this has finished right our time has finished and now I'm going to take out the chicken once again. Yes, it's in and out like, well, I'm not going to say it. And the rice, as you can see, is perfectly cooked. And the chicken is perfectly cooked. It just doesn't necessarily look that appetising, does it? So I'm going to have to add just a little bit of water. And now I'm going to stir through the peas for that bit of greenery that we need. Stir through our peas. And now, because it's speedy, I'm going to use my tray, my trivet, in the high position. Put the chicken back on there. Oops, a daisy. Try not to spill it everywhere for me. Get down. Go back across. And what we're going to do is we're going to air fry it for about, should we go for five minutes? And we'll have a look. That's it. think shall we let's take that out and yes once again this chicken has got to go onto a plate and let's get that and put that straight in the washing up and now I'm going to give this a good stir ready to dish up let's switch off Lovely. Right, let's come over and dish up. Okay. Thing is, so let's just 
and I did check the temperature of the chicken so I know it is cooked. Right. Spanish chicken. All in one pot. How does that look? You know what's going to happen. I'm going to take this through to Steve and then we'll be back for the taste. Oh, let's have a taste. Well then, shall we give this a try? Our Spanish chicken dish, all in one, cooked in the speedy. So first off, let's go for some of the rice. And uh, get some pepper on there too. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. And now the chicken, perfectly, perfectly cooked. I, I'm not sure that the light's doing any justice, but trust me, it's perfectly cooked. As I say, I have made this dish before. Mm. usually on the hob and then in the oven doing it in a speedy was so easy you saw it's a piece of cake so Spanish chicken don't mind if I do well I hope you've enjoyed this episode of in the kitchen with pen I'm off to eat this in comfort and I shall see you again very soon. Thank you for watching. Bye bye. If you'd like to see more of what we get up to in the kitchen, click here. And if you'd like to subscribe, please click here. And obviously, don't forget to tick that ding a ling. Stand there. That ding a ling. <laughs>